Tonight, we are remembering Deputy Greg McCowan. Authorities say he was shot and killed Thursday night after a traffic stop in Maryville. I'm so sorry that we lost a young man. I talked to his family earlier. I apologize for not protecting him. You just heard from Blount County Sheriff James Lee Barong. Right now, the urgent manhunt continues for the man deputies say shot two of their own. We're going to hear more from the sheriff in less than a minute, but first, here is what we know about that suspect. As of 10 o'clock, Kenneth Wayne DeHart is still on the run. Right now, the sheriff's office and other agencies are offering an $80,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. He is considered armed and dangerous, so if you see him, do not approach him. If you have a tip, the TBI wants to hear from you. You can call them at 1-800-TBI-FIND. Officials say that suspect shot another deputy. Shelby Eggers was shot in the leg. She was taken to the hospital last night, but she's now at home recovering. The shooting happened Thursday night between Seymour and Maryville off of Sevierville Road. Officials say the suspect drove away from the scene and this car was found in the Wildwood area. That's about three miles away from where that shooting originally happened. We also want to walk you through a timeline of what happened when. We first received reports of an officer involved shooting around 930 last night. That's also when we learned who the suspect was in that shooting. One hour later, deputies announced on Facebook one deputy was dead and another was in the hospital recovering. Close to 1.30 this morning, the sheriff's office in Blount County held their first press conference where they released the victim's names. This afternoon, a procession was held for Deputy McCowan in Knoxville as his body was escorted back to Blount County. And just after 5.30 this evening, the sheriff's office in Blount County held their second press conference since that shooting. Fox 43 reporter Aaron Velasquez was there and shares the information he learned today from the sheriff. Today we brought the body of Greg McCowan back to Blount County from the Knoxville Forensic Center. Deputy Greg McCowan was shot and killed Thursday night. Sheriff James Barong says he died a hero. In your eyes, is he a hero? Absolutely. And when you... When that tape is disseminated and you see how the, the chain of events went down and you see how he reacted, how she reacted, you'll agree with that statement. The loss of a deputy taking its toll on this longtime sheriff. Uh, I can't get my arms around it. I, I can't understand how it feel. A void, empty, sad, uh, just, just a range of emotions. Another deputy, Shelby Eggers, was also shot in the leg. The sheriff says that didn't stop her from attending the procession. She was able to be present to go with us. Uh, she's on crutches, but she was moving around and, and she had an extremely emotional day. And uh, I go, she acted heroic. She did her job and she's lucky to be alive. The sacrifice of one deputy and the recovery of another. Reporting in Blount County, I'm Aaron Velasquez. The sheriff says he is thankful to Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler and the Loudoun County Sheriff Jimmy Davis for their direct support during these times.